Welcome to Open Network Learning, a course, a community, an approach. This is most likely a different sort of course uh, you, to the ones that you participated in before, because this is an open online course about open online teaching and learning. And we hope that it's going to change the way you look at and practice your teaching and learning. At the same time, making a lot of friends along the way. But first of all, we would like to uh, present the course organizers. My name is Jörg Pareiges, and I'm the head of the Center for Teaching and Learning at Karlstad University in Sweden. Hello, everyone. I'm Alan Sung from the National University of Singapore. Hello, I'm Alexandra Wirth. I'm working in the Karim Foundation in Zürich. Hello, I'm Philipp Lalachte. I work at Ricarda in Helsinki. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Lars Ullin. Uh, I have just retired from my university position, but will, of course, be continuing working with uh, the ONL team, the organizing team. Hi, my name is Lotta Freidfeldt. And I work at Mälardala University. Hello, my name is Lotta Åbjansson. I work as an educational developer at Lund University in Sweden. But even more important than the uh, organizing team is the team of facilitators and co-facilitators. And you have a chance to see uh, them here. Come on, everybody, give your smiling face and sway. Hi. Hello. 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 Now that you got a glimpse who is behind the course, we would like to tell you a little bit about the course. We shorten Open Network Learning to ONL, and it's called ONL 232 because it's the second iteration of 2023. The course will run from the 18th of September until the 10th of December. Hopefully you can set aside six to eight hours each week during this period in order to get the most out of it. The course is developed for teachers, educational technologists and course developers, but it's basically open for everyone with an interest in teaching and learning in the open net. During the course, you will be working collaboratively in small learning groups, supporting by facilitators, and it's really about learning by doing. We will be applying problem-based learning. That means you will get a scenario and be working uh, together with your teammates on the scenario, um, focusing on the problems you would like to investigate and share your learning within the group and to the rest of the community. Doing this online might be new for you, and we promise it's an amazing experience. ONL is really a multicultural and cross-disciplinary arena for professional development and exchange in online learning. And everyone who is part of ONL 232 belongs to the community if you want to. The majority of participants, facilitators and co-facilitators come from the partner organizations as you see here on the screen. The majority from Sweden and Finland, but we have participants and institutions collaborating from Switzerland, Germany, Singapore and South Africa. The participants from those institutions we are calling the institutional participants. Being a fully open online course, we also welcome open learners to the ONL community. Each iteration we have between 20 and 30 open learners and joining the problem-based learning teams and making up for an even more diverse international community of learners. The institutional participants and open learners will be grouped together in groups of eight. Um, depending on your preferred meeting times, so that interacting and working together on the course will be easy. Each group will have a facilitator and co-facilitator to their disposal, and together you form a problem-based learning group, or PBL group. And together with your PBL group, you will go on a fantastic learning journey. And the journey consists of the following number of topics, and in this order. We start the course with the first week of getting ready and connecting with your PBL groups and then focus on online participation and digital literacies, which is a two week topic 
continue uh, to discuss open learning, sharing and openness, followed by a reflection week, and then finish up uh, with uh, learning in communities, network collaborative learning, and designing for online and blended learning before we finishing up the course with the lessons learned future practice week. In the reflection week, you have the chance to catch up, reflect on the first half of the course and get ready for the final topics. Now, if you look at the 12 weeks of the course, you will be participating and interacting and being active in three different spaces and in three different communities, so to speak. Um, the, uh, to start with, you will get a chance to say hi and uh, interact with the entire community. Uh, we call it the ONL community space. Everyone in the course, participants, um, facilitators, co-facilitators, course organizers are part of this space. Here you can share some interesting features, uh, thoughts, articles, uh, ask questions and um, connect with others outside your PBL group space. In your PBL group space, only your PBL group members and the facilitator and your co-facilitator will have access to the PBL group space. And starting with the topic one, um, you will do some individual reflection after you've worked with your PBL group mates on your um, PBL uh, task. Each week there will be a, a synchronous common course activity where you get some additional input uh, in form of a webinar or a tweet chat where we will um, invite international renowned speakers and experts in the field of open online learning. In the beginning of the course, there will be an institution and open learner meeting and we will have a drop in help desk uh, where you can uh, drop in and get some uh, answers if there should be any questions coming up in the start of the course, all to make a good onboarding and a smooth experience for you. At the end of this course, we will have a final webinar together, all of us, and uh, reflect and uh, discuss what uh, we have experienced during the course. A two-week topic is structured around the following way and uh, you can see the three spaces where your work will um, be, uh, be conducted in. Um, in the community space, in the PBL group space, where the majority of uh, discussion and collaboration will take place and in your individual study. At the beginning of the topic, uh, a scenario will be introduced and you have some reference literature and uh, you get together in your first uh, PBL group meeting and um, you will have a topic webinar and to get you even more input into the topic. You will usually have two group uh, meetings per week and um, in the second week there might be an, another course common activity in form of a tweet chat or another webinar. At the end of the topic you will present and share your presentation, the outcome of your PBL group work to the ONL community. And you will also reflect individually on your learning, on the group process and uh, maybe take up topics you found uh, particularly interesting or want to indulge more in. You will also get feedback uh, not only on your individual reflections and you're supposed to give feedback to others uh, on their individual reflection but you will also get from the community of learners input and uh, feedback on your PBL group presentation. Hopefully by now it becomes more clear why we call it open network learning. It's all about learning together, connecting with others and uh, giving feedback and learning from and with each other. If you've been working with problem-based learning before, you're probably aware of and have experienced that the PBL group work will follow a model. In the online environment, we use a simplified PBL model uh, developed by Niranzi and Olin. And we call it, or uh, they call it the FISH model. FISH stands for focus, investigate and share. 
And during the topic and during the PBL group work, this is an iterative process on focusing on the scenario in the beginning. What do we see? What, how do we understand what we see here and what we read? How do we interpret the scenario and what do we find most um, interesting? And you negotiate this together in your group. Then you go on and investigate individually and uh, see where you can find answers to this problem. Um, you will also in investigate who will do what by when and discuss this. And um, once you got a few answers, you will share this back to your group. And then you will focus again and um, in this maybe in the second week of the PBL group work a focus on a particular aspect of the question you will bring this work together investigate how you pre can present the answers and then share it back to the uh, community so this is an iterative process will continue uh, during the uh, PBL group work during a topic and um, uh, between the topics so hopefully by now you get a little bit better understanding how we organize the course. It might be very different from other courses you have taken before, and this might be a little bit confusing. But we hope you really do enjoy the ride, embrace it, and join the fun. Ask a lot of questions, connect with others, say hi in the community, and really do share and contribute to a fantastic learning journey. Look, really looking forward to see you on the course and um, have fun.